Welcome to Record Transactions in Journal. By the end of this applet, you should be able to record transactions in a journal and explain why a journal is an important part of an accounting system. By this time, you know how to use the accounting equation to analyze and record transactions in the general ledger. That's great. And assuming that you're the accountant for Grogreen, when your boss asks you at the end of April, how much cash do we have? You would answer $31,500. And if your boss asks, how much do we owe suppliers? You would answer $500, since that's the balance in accounts payable. But what if your boss says, you say we only have 31,500 cash? I thought we had more. What was that $4,000 decrease in cash for? To answer this question, you would have to flip through the pages of the ledger looking for the left hand $4,000. Sometimes the left could be split among several different ledger accounts. And what if your ledger had 30 pages, 30 accounts in it, and your business had thousands of transactions per month? It could take you hours to find the answer to your boss's question. But of course, there's a better way. We'll keep two binders on our desk. One is the ledger that you're already familiar with, and the new one is called the journal, or general journal. The journal is called the journal because it is a diary of the company's transactions in date order, and all of the pieces of a transaction are recorded in one spot in the journal. So the journal is excellent for answering questions like, what was the $4,000 cash payment for? With one minor exception, the exact same information about the business's transactions are recorded in both binders. The difference is in how the information is sorted. In the journal, the information is sorted by transaction, by date. In the ledger, the information is sorted by account, by date. So all of the cash pieces are together, all of the accounts payable pieces are together, etc. This is what the pages inside the journal look like, although usually the accounting words for left and right, that is debit and credit, are used. Before we begin recording transactions in the journal, we have good news and bad news for you. If you were hoping the left-right system would go away, you're out of luck. But the good news is that the transaction analysis is exactly the same whether you record the transaction in the ledger or the journal. So nothing new here. We'll follow the same steps for analyzing transactions that we used before. We will continue to use Grogreen's transactions as examples. On April 1, 2013, Grogreen received $30,000 cash from owners and issued stock. We've listed the questions and possible answers that you must use to analyze each transaction. As we analyze, we'll jot down the answers to each question in kind of a shorthand. You might find it useful to do this on a piece of paper. So when Grogreen receives cash from owners and issues stock, what accounts are affected? Cash and common stock. For cash, what type of account is it? Asset. Increase side for an asset? Left. And did cash increase or decrease? It increased. So we'll use the increase or normal side of the account, the left. For common stock, what type of account is it? Contributed capital. What's the increase side for contributed capital? Right. Did common stock increase or decrease? It increased. So we'll use the increase or normal side, the right side. Now we are ready to record the transaction in the journal. Notice where we enter the year. We'll enter it only once per journal page. Then we enter the month again only once per journal page unless the month happens to change in the middle of a page. Then we enter the day. We will enter the day for every transaction even if multiple transactions occur on the same day. Next we'll enter one of the accounts affected but it's very important that you enter the account or accounts getting the left side of the entry before you enter the accounts getting the right side. I'll explain why this is important in a minute. We know from our notes that cash is getting the left part of the entry, so we'll enter cash first, and we'll line the name up against the left side of the description column. Then we'll enter the $30,000 in the left number column. 
On the next line down, we'll enter common stock, but this time we will indent the account name about half an inch to the right, since this account is getting the right side of the entry. The 30,000 goes in the right number column. And the last step is to enter a brief description or explanation of the transaction. You have just journalized your first transaction. Let's journalize another transaction. On April 2nd, Grow Green bought equipment and paid cash. What accounts are affected? Cash and equipment. For cash, what type of account is it? Asset. What's the increase side for an asset? Left. Did cash increase or decrease? It decreased. So we'll use the opposite of the normal or increase side. We'll use the right side. For equipment, what type of account is it? Asset. What's the increase side for an asset? Left. Did equipment increase or decrease? It increased, so we'll use the increase or normal side, the left side. Now we are ready to begin journalizing the transaction. We need to leave a blank row after every transaction. Then, remember, we'll only enter the year and month one time per page. So the first item that we enter for this transaction is the day. Then which account will we write in first? the one getting the left side of the entry, so equipment. And we'll line the account name up against the left side of the column. 2000 goes in the left number column. Then we enter cash, but indented about a half an inch to the right. 2000 goes in the right number column. Last, we'll enter a brief explanation of the transaction. We'll journalize just two more transactions. After all, this is the third time we are analyzing the same transactions. On April 2nd, Grow Green bought a truck by signing a note. Accounts affected, truck, and note payable. For the truck, what type of account is truck? Asset. What's the increase side for an asset? Left. Did truck increase or decrease? It increased, so we'll use the increase or normal side the left. For note payable, what type of account is it? Liability. What's the increase side for a liability? The right. Did our liability increase or decrease? It increased, so we'll use the increase or normal side, the right. We're ready to journalize. Leave a blank row after the previous entry. Enter the date, even though it's the same as the previous transactions. Enter the account getting the left side of the entry, lined up against the left side of the column. Enter 40,000 in the left number column. Then enter note payable indented to the right. Enter 40,000 in the right number column. And enter a brief explanation. On April 6th, Grow Green received $7,000 cash from customers for services provided. Accounts affected, cash, and service revenue. For cash, what type of account is it? Asset. What's the increase side for an asset? Left. Did cash increase or decrease? It increased, so we'll use the increase or normal side, the left side. For service revenue, what type of account? Revenue. What's the increase side for a revenue? Right. Did our revenues increase or decrease? They increased. So we'll use the increase or normal side, the right side. We're ready to journalize. Leave a blank row after the previous entry. Enter the day. Enter the account getting the left side of the entry. Enter 7,000 in the left number column. Enter service revenue indented to the right. Enter 7,000 in the right number column. Enter a brief explanation. 
Before we conclude this applet, I promised I would explain why we left justify the accounts getting the left side of the entry and indent to the right the accounts getting the right side of the entry and why we always put the accounts getting the left side first. You may not appreciate this right now, but as you become more experienced using a journal, you'll find that these conventions and leaving a blank row after every entry makes the journal much faster to read. Someday soon, you'll appreciate it. This concludes the applet, Record Transactions in the Journal.